Things took an awkward turn for Michelle Ananda Raja on Monday night's episode of Q&A when she was asked this extremely valid question. With so many people looking to find just one house to live in, how can we continue to subsidise investment properties through negative gearing? Her response was anything but inspiring. As you'll see here, it veered off toward just plain awkward territory at the end. Taxation on housing is a really vexed issue in this country and it's, it's principally because your house is your biggest asset and people are highly as invested in their homes as you would expect them to be. Now, it's not just about negative gearing. If you're going to have a discussion about taxation on homes, you also have to then wrap in stamp duty and land tax and zoning restrictions and the whole but, lot of it. But, but negative gearing has become but, a symbol of the, mm -hmm. of the inequity in this. I sure, mean, I, I sure. can ask it's, you... It's become a lightning rod, but the reality is that um, even if you made adjustments to negative gearing, it would be tinkering around the ed edges. We're now in a situation where over the last seven years, our population has grown. Um, children have grown up. They want to live near where they work. And the pandemic has also changed the way we live. We, in fact, have fewer people living in dwellings, which means we need more dwellings. It's part of the so problem part, here, part though. Of the, issue, the issue really is supply. The issue is supply. Well, is it, and, is it supply or, or is it people who have multiple homes? According to, uh, to Crikey... Man. I mean, it's, it's here, here are some numbers, Michelle. It's supply. We have 144 politicians out of 227 own more than one property. That's 63%. 37%, 84 MPs, own three or more properties, um, which is you, Michelle, isn't it? Of course. And, and, and Greens, and Greens senators. You might be wondering how things got to this point. Ananda Raja would probably not have been Labor's first choice to answer questions relating to home ownership and negative gearing. Her statement of registrable interests is one of the longer that I've come across. There's a lengthy share portfolio, there are a couple of family trusts, and there are seven separate properties owned between her and her partner across three states. I'll assume one is residential, so that leaves six investment properties. Then there are directorships, savings accounts, and what I can only imagine is an expensive art collection. A lot of stuff. You hardly say she's doing it tough. And green senators. Hey, look over there! I mean, I guess the look over there thing was worth a try. There's about 19, you know, owned by green senators and green MPs. Max here, one of Michelle's fellow panellists, is also a Greens MP. Max's register of interests is far shorter, with Max not owning any real estate, investment or otherwise. Max is not unique here either, with a couple of his Greens colleagues also in the same boat. Let's look at some numbers. In total, there are currently 14 Greens MPs and Senators. Between them, they own a total of 12 investment properties. Ananda Raja has 6 investments on her books. 12 split across 14 people just doesn't look that significant in comparison. So I'd say that, um, you know, the issue is with, with investors who invest in property, they actually end up letting it out. They tenant it out. And that's what I've done but, with but, my but that, but that's become but a source of... But it doesn't solve the problem of supply. becomes a source supply. of great wealth, doesn't it? D David, you own multiple homes? <laughs> I've, I've, got, uh, I've got one investment property which I've, is, is on the market. Just, um, just one? Yes. Um, and, you know, I think this, this is a vexed issue for the major parties. Like, you talk to the crossbench and we're hearing from people, and, and I certainly believe that this is a conversation we have to have. It costs us $20 billion a year between capital gains tax discounts and negative gearing. That is an extraordinary amount of money. And for a country that is now so reliant on personal income tax, we're up to 48% of our tax comes from personal income tax, the major parties aren't willing to actually look at these things, which you talked about the root cause. This seems to actually go to the root cause. What would the Greens have put to the government is if you phase out negative gearing for everyone with more than one investment property, so they get to keep one, and capital gains tax concessions, you raise $74 billion over the next 10 years. That could cover $5 billion a year for public and affordable housing and provide incentives to the states to freeze rent increases. Now, and I just wanted to touch on this question of mm. supply, because... <laughs> you will hear... The, the line about supply is run most by the property industry because it suits them. Over the last five years, Australia has built just under a million homes. A million homes. There was a million homes vacant uh, on the night of the census. 
The question is not property developers building more high-end homes no one can afford. The question is that right now housing is treated more as a financial asset as a result of the billions of dollars. As a result of the billions of dollars and not as a place to call home. Now, the way to tackle the housing crisis, scrap negative gearing and capital gains so a first home buyer gets a chance, and start to invest in public housing the way this country used to in the 20th century. Now that's crazy. Or is it just crazy enough to work? I think there is something to be said for viewing housing as an essential um, need rather than a business, something to be invested in. And right now, our taxes are quite the business. Look, despite whatever criticism you may want to level at the Greens MPs and Senators for holding what really has to be said are generally quite modest portfolios in comparison to the Labor Senator here, the Greens have at least pushed for changes to negative gearing, which is not something you can say for either of the major parties.